It's time for some Isaac. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have, I have a bit of a losing streak because of the loss, but... Haven't done the beast with you. Or the keeper for that matter. Alright. Then we do this. Yeah, I'll play this for a bit and then we'll see what we get up to. I do want to do some Yakuza potentially, so we'll see how I'm feeling. I gotta be in the mood to do the voices. I gotta see how this goes. Books, that's a good sign. Nice, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Just gotta get a key. Which I'm sure I'm sh I should be able to manage. Checking for crawl spaces. If I'm lucky, not. Nah. So it's well, no, it can't be there. All right. There it is. There has to be a key somewhere. Get them books. Huh? Okay.
Uh, I mean, I don't know if the other ones. It's probably like a detrimental effect. Unless I get a reroll. Oh, right, and we get this now. Ooh. That's a start. You asshole. Okay, well. Roll with it. Oh, the pip does shoot. Okay. Okay. Don't have to put the uh, the trinket down. That works already. Oh, the shit flies every now and then, that's cool. At least I think that's what happens. Ah! You know what? Let's see. I suppose I could just drop the key and it'll be there on the way back up. Not that I need it. Okay, that was worth it. Nothing else will help me kill stuff quickly. moving a little erratically.
Oh, right, because this book changes it, so it's not Devil Deal. Ooh. Like, I guess? Okay, I need to get rid of that. Oh. Okay. Just so there's no risk. Did that even hit? I don't think it hit. Good. I'm getting pretty lucky with that. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Oh, it's being annoying. Stop spawning! Oh my god, this was such a bad call. Okay, so I'm pretty much gonna have the health I had before, whatever. It's all this just to increase the angel room chance. Curse of the blind. First, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> doesn't matter. How's it going anyway, virtual hogging? Oh wait, that's it? Crack, am I already... Okay, whatever. got an appointment here in two days. Where is he? <laughs> uh, I'm doing okay, just kicking back off the work. Not a whole lot uh, Monday, so yeah. Pretty slow day. Just as a saying, I've never heard anyone say it like that before. It's a first for me. Might just be an Ohio thing, probably.
Ooh, this. Oh wait, this works with this character because there's no such thing as salsa. So I have a glass cannon item for free. Okay, that's pretty legit. Yeah, what this item does is it takes away your health to do a glass cannon shot, but I guess because this character technically doesn't have health, you can just do the glass cannon shot for free. Yeah, pretty much it it puts all your red health down. So that's kind of nice. It's a good replacement as well. Like with this book, it's a good synergy. I just keep getting wisps around me. It has no impact on my health whatsoever, so that's cool. I'm glad I opened that treasure room. Oh, well. Uh, gamble. Okay, take that. That is a little sad. Oh shit. I hate this. I hate this boss. Okay. For once he didn't hit me. He always at snipes at least one health off me. Oh shit, smite. Smite shot. The rock rain seems obnoxious. Oh, the whole fight is obnoxious. Like, the charge and everything he does. Okay, that... The side effect of that is it seems that glass cannon isn't as good with smite shot, but... I mean... It's something I can spam and get shields with, so like I can, before I go into a next room, I can build up my shields. So that's pretty cool. So it's still useful. Like, yeah, it, it doesn't seem to have any effect anymore. But that's fine. Do I gain a soul heart every floor? No, no, no. I had an eternal heart that I found. This is pretty legit. I can build up bullet hell protection with this. For free. It's just a shame that it kind of goes out the window, the synergy. Ooh. Gotta get that. That's... It's a very big deal. Yeah, I mean, the smite ruins the... The high damage aspect of it. But, I mean... 
It still does extra damage, it's just not as much as it used to be. The main thing is... I can protect myself from projectiles. Oh, shit, not this room. Fuck this room. Oh my god. Oh, it broke the glass cannon. Yeah, that's right. That's different. And then it gets repaired. Well, that's the point of it, is like, you don't... There we go, now it's back to normal. It's if you take a hit, um... Then you gotta wait for encounters to get it back again. Still my planetarium. Okay, well, I'm not gonna set it off in here. There's too many random rocks. Uh, okay, whatever. Yeah, I mean... Ugh, it was... That's- it's a risk-reward item, so... I'm good. Uh, yeah, I guess just take this for now. I don't mind it, just forgetting the, uh, the protection. It doesn't protect from everything, but it's good enough. That's an increase to our uh, planetarium odds. Which, I mean, shit, it's like at 70% now. Like, come on. Oh, no. This is another room I hate. Oof. There we go, double room. What I was waiting for. Oh god, what is going on? That was, okay, that room fucked me up. Ooh. 
gotta be careful. Use it or lose it. Nice. Okay. Hopefully this will generate health. Okay. I mean, technically, health. This item isn't as good as it used to be. Go. <laughs> Things are looking up. That's it. That's it. Open the floodgates. Nice. Oh. There we go. Yeah, it's cancer. It's just... Go past your attack speed. Oh, dude. The attack speed is very nice right now. to get to the store. How do you activate it? You don't need to activate it. It's just a passive. Like every now and then my shots will just go n mental. Oh, I see how it works. Now it's not random. If you stop shooting, you can release all your tears. Um, yeah, I mean, let me just do this. All right. And then magician, the world. All right. It seems fine. I'll go get that other money. I mean, honestly, pretty legit. What happened to all the money? I exploded the machine. I made it go to a thousand. It's to unlock an item. Kind of insane how much damage I'm doing. Okay.
Sawardo. Emperor Stars. Alright, cool. Got a way out. I don't need to look for the skull. That is re-roll everything. No, thank you. I think I got something good going here. Oh, you asshole. Joker. Hermit. The world. Okay. That's interesting, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Well, I mean, the damage isn't horrible, horrible. It's, it's okay. It could be better. Okay. Yeah, I mean the combo is good. The hermit. Combo is definitely really good. Since we're not getting anything better, and that technically gives me damage, it's fine. It's a good trade. I mean, even without the floodgates thing, I do a lot of uh, tears.
I got a really good fire rate regardless. Okay, I think I need to drop the glass cannon, because when it breaks, it damages me more. Which is something I probably don't want at this point. I just... <laughs> it reforms on its own. Yeah, it like... It damages you a little more. Uh... Ooh. In the interest of putting down the glass cannon... I mean, this just takes money and does damage, which I could do as, like, a Necronomicon effect at the end. What does it do? Uh, it does necron. Well, you know, room damage. But you spend money to do it. So I got money to spare. May as well. Oh shit, Puthor. Okay, hang on. Okay. Uh, I mean, this has its purpose. All right, I'll stick with this for now. No, this is uh, take slain enemies and convert them to a shield or uh, summons can be pretty good. I think I have an idea. Yeah, I have an idea. Okay. This will get me bookworm. There we go. Worth it, because I got five luck. Spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. You mean it's gone? How can you have spent our savings? It's pretty good. It's just the minions die. It's like you do that. It's best to use it in a room where there's lots of stuff. Rise of the Necromancer. Yeah, see, now I got skeleton friends. Skeleton fellas. Look at who he has to look up to. Shut up, man. Shut up. Just keep 
pushing me like this. I'm leaving. Good. Leave. We'll be fine without you. Abandon us. Abandon yourself. Okay, just a refund on the keys. Alright, that'll do. Oh yeah, I got this one. Okay. Yeah, look at him go. Oh no, a skeleton friend. Rise, skeleton friend. Okay, nice. Alright. Little monster. I have confidence that I can get this done. Hey, might be able to get something decent out of this. I was gonna say, even if it's one more health. Ah, leave it, it's fine. Don't want the tower. Ah, oh, skeleton friend. Wait, this is easily the most simple and disturbing story of a game you've ever had the pleasure of playing and watching. <laughs> that's that's alright. I did just finish playing a game which like uh had chickens in it. 
I don't know, that was a little disturbing at times. Chicken murder mystery. Oh shit. In I didn't know you could get to there from here. Anyway. Ooh, see so fire rate or hmm. I think fire rate's still probably the way to go. Let me see something. I can't really tell with the shot if it's going off or not. The chicken game was a little too weird. <laughs> That's where you draw the line. What about the stuff in Yakuza? Isn't that weirder? You draw the line at furries. Okay. I don't know. It definitely had furry elements in it, but... I mean... The game was really well presented. It had a good story, good voice acting, good writing. I think it's okay to overlook it. I enjoyed it, uh, pretty thoroughly. You'll try to be more open-minded. Yeah, I mean... I'd go watch the VOD. It's on YouTube. It's, it's a good story that it's telling, and... Yeah, I mean, the voice acting was really good. Good jokes. Sure, why not? I think making the shot slow is a good idea. More of like a stream now. You won't say the voice acting wasn't bad. You heard it. It sounded nice, just it was strange. Well, it depends how much you watched of it, but... I mean, don't get me wrong, the premise is strange and jarring at first, but then... The story it tells is pretty good. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to admit that the reason I installed it in the first place was for memes, I thought. Yeah, a game about chicken would certainly be a uh, very amusing. Also, what is going on here? What the? Oh my god! With the smite shot, it's sticking to the. It's sticking to the boss. Okay. Yep. This is this is broken. It's completely shredding them. GG. There's no way. There's no way I'm losing this. Like, look at this.
mental. No, 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 no. It, 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 as soon as I turned on the Magician card, it started doing this, and it makes sense. Smite is a shot that continues to linger. I'm not sure, but there's certain synergies that just make Smite a permanent fixture on the screen for whatever reason. Like, look at it. Dude, that was the quickest takedown I've done of the beast. And a white beam of light reached down into the earth. That was sick. That was really quick. Awesome. All right. That's what I wanted done. Yeah, the, there's a few combos with that shot that it's pretty much, it's GG, like... That's really awesome. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the GG. So who do who hasn't had the beast beaten? Uh, 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 uh. Um, hang on. Let me. I have to start doing stuff with the keeper. I know the swallowed penny comes from an unlock. I just can't remember which challenge. How is it unlocked? Complete slow roll challenge 15. Yeah, I haven't done it. I haven't done many challenges, so hold up. But pretty much unlock this item that's the most important item for the keeper. So we'll do this real quick. So yeah, that was a pretty satisfying win. Okay. I think that that has to be the fastest I've uh, cleared that boss. My my quickest record, and my slowest record is over an hour, because, yeah. You feel like you've asked him this, have I played Neuro Voider? Ah, uh, I played it a very long time ago. I was not streaming when I played it. I tried it out with my brothers for a little bit. That's all right. Don't really remember much of it. I just know that. You're gonna gift it to me one day. Why? I already have it. <laughs> Don't do that. See, that's the thing, the binding of- games like The Binding of Isaac, Risk of Rain, um, Hades, Splunky, they've made me very, very particular about, like, which roguelikes I sink hundreds upon hundreds of hours into. I'm, I've just been spoilt by these games, they kind of have to be of that quality, I guess. Still haven't played Wizard of Legend. I have it. It's half the battle. That there isn't enough time. Do 
between like having a full-time job streaming having enough time to like do content creation and then be able to like take time to watch tv shows that i want to watch it's uh yeah <laughs> it's very tight timing oh yeah and social life as well don't don't forget about that Like, God of War is coming out uh, in a week, I think. Or, I don't know, very, very soon. It's imminent. And I really enjoyed the first one. However, I'm not sure if I'll play the second one right away. May as well do that, speed it up. The issue being I haven't finished stuff like Yakuza yet. Oh, I went the wrong way. Whoops. So is Sonic Frontiers. Wait, really? I feel like I still don't know much about that game. I mean, yeah, I haven't really played Sonic games, so I don't know. I've played a couple. Sonic Frontier and God of War Ragnarok are coming out very close to each other. Right. Yeah, I mean... You'll forgive me if, like, I'm a little skeptical of, uh, of Sonic. <laughs> Listen, there's nothing wrong with Sonic games. I know that they can be great experiences, and that the fan base is very passionate about it. However, I will say, there have been a few that just haven't grabbed me in terms of interest. But that's just my personal taste. Oh, no. Alright, that's cool. Wait, Nintendo's trying to steer everything into this open world setting like they did with Zelda. Are they? What? makes you think that, aside from the fact that Zelda did it. I mean, okay, Pokemon's done it, but that I feel like that was a natural progression. And people have been asking for that for years. Aside from those two examples. Pokemon, Sonic. Sonic is Sega, dude, not Nintendo. My dude... Just because they're on the Nintendo console just doesn't mean that Nintendo makes the franchise. How old are you again? Like... <laughs> Nintendo owns Sega. No, they don't. Go fact check that. This is... this is a case where I'll, uh... I'll refer to you to Wikipedia. I 
mean, we're pretty much done here. Just get through this. Oh. Yay. More damage. Wait, it doesn't increase my damage? Never mind, Nintendo just has rights. No. They don't- I mean, what do you mean they have rights? Like, as if they own them? No. Sega is an independent company releasing on whatever fucking platform they like. They have no correlation with one another other than Nintendo licensing to Sega. Like, and vice versa, Sega allowing Genesis games to be on the subscription service. But they also allow Genesis games to be on the PlayStation as well, like... There is no, uh, what's the word? Reliance on one another. Or exclusivity. So, one decision making doesn't affect the other. They're independent companies. I guess what I'm saying is, Sega's choice to do an open world Sonic game had nothing to do with Nintendo. So again, I ask the question, aside from Pokemon and Zelda, why are Nintendo games becoming open world? Oh shit. Okay, there we go. We done. Now this will make my keeper runs a lot easier. I think you're confusing, like, rights with ownership, my friend. Like, rights- all rights means is that, uh, it's licensed to use. It does not equate to ownership. Oh, I haven't done it with Eve either. Okay. Case in point, pretty much every single Sega game that's on the subscription service is also on Steam. And PlayStation, and Xbox. And they also license the rights to another company that's making a uh, Sega Genesis mini console. Where they just license the Sega brand. They do that all the time, but it doesn't mean ownership. Or control. Or influence on decisions. I'm surprised I haven't done this with Eve, but we'll, we'll change that. I feel like I'm on a roll today. You're bait, you're talking out your ass. That's fine. Oh, well, yeah, doesn't matter. <laughs> the only reason I know about this stuff is because, yeah, you're talking about two companies that formed, like, a large part of my childhood and was the original, like, console wars, I guess. Plus, I love reading stories about, like, how game companies came to be and, like, why they collapsed. That sort of thing.
Nintendo 64 and Sega Genesis was the console war. No. Super Nintendo and the Genesis were. With the Nintendo 64, like, and uh, the Sega Saturn, both companies made uh, very, very big mistakes, which kind of led to a reduction in market share slash the downfall in the case of Sega. You should watch, uh, Gaming Historian. Does some pretty good videos on those topics. What was the problem with the Sega Saturn? It released and then pretty much almost immediately the Dreamcast was announced, so it was like... I forgot how many years into the Saturn's life, it was ridiculous. And people felt betrayed. And from what I've heard, Saturn games were very, uh, glitchy, to say the least. But, yeah, I, I never owned one. Um, I mean, have a look into it. Like, look at the release date of the Sega Saturn, and then look at the release... Or the announcement date of the Dreamcast, not the release date. It was, it was pretty bad. And the number of games that were released on it kind of signify that. I think from memory it's because they were worried about the PS2 being more powerful. So then they were like, no, no, we've got to re-release new hardware to compete with the PS2. And then they kind of shot themselves in the foot like that. Oh, that was, that was like, leap of faith right there. It worked. It was like four years, the announcement date, not the release date. Like... I'm going off vague recollection. I know that the reason the Saturn didn't do well was because people thought that Sega was abandoning it too soon. But I can't remember what started that reasoning. There's, there's videos on this topic. Like, they'll do a better job of explaining it, but... Yeah, the Saturn was a very ill-fated console. It's all on the topic of, like, uh, the fall of Sega, because that's effectively what caused it is, like... The Saturn slash Dreamcast. Oh, it's a Mickey Mouse fella.
Oh, sorry, legally distinct, uh, cartoon mouse fella. That's it. <laughs> Don't want to attract the wrong crowd. I'm just checking if there's a planetarium. Okay, nothing. Here. Nope. Okay. Ah, it's down. Ah. <laughs> I can't do the third voice properly. That's what I want. You want to go for the gup. The Dreamcast announcements in 97 and Saturn came out in 94. Yeah, there you go. Because consoles at the time, they had pretty long cycles. Especially given the, uh, the Genesis, like, how long of a life that had. I think that was the issue. And then they were just like... Because it was announced in 97, but then I remember that there were rumors about it way before that. And so, ah, shit. And so the problem became people had already bought a Saturn and didn't want to get a Dreamcast because they had invested in that and they didn't want to get new, a new console so soon. And then the people that were waiting for the Dreamcast didn't buy a Saturn. So it like compounded the problem um, in two different ways. So it sort of split their user base. The 360 has a lifespan of eight years. Xbox One has announced at the X eight year mark. Yeah. So it was definitely problematic. Oh, this, unless I get a candle, this run's gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do well here. Stupid curse of the blind. Okay. Pick for me. Which is the good item? Is it the first one, the second one, or the third one? I'm gonna gamble here, because at this point I should. Given... One, two, or three. Pick a number. Three. Alright. Yeah! No, good pick. Good pick. Very good pick. Very, very good pick. This item's awesome.
I'll say hey, Nick, though. No, no, it's not here yet. Alright, I need to skip this item room then. I don't think I'm gonna win just because it's cursed eye. Pills. Yeah. Very useful to be able to. S oh shit, this room. Nice. Unless I get a uh, Nord Leaf. <laughs> oh, but I, no, I don't really have anything that's automated. Like, the leech unfortunately falls into the lava and doesn't really do much. What's up? Not a lot. Just uh, kicking back. Kind of talking about video game history a little. There's a lot of, uh, it's an interesting topic, just the stuff that happened in the 90s with video game companies. Like, that was Sega's screw up, and then Nintendo had a, uh, a screw up of their own. Like a major one. <laughs> oh, there were spiders. I don't know why I did that. Like, Nintendo created their biggest competitor and lost a lot of their uh, third-party support in the N64 era as a result. And also created uh, games that they wish didn't exist. Well, they didn't create them, but they caused them to get created. Wait, Wii Fit was the biggest scam in the video game industry? I mean... I know people that genuinely lost weight from it because they adopted healthy habits. It's not that the Wii Fit itself was, like, the cause of weight loss. It's more just it encouraged healthy behavior. It's kind of like uh, Beat Saber does a similar thing, like people do get a good exercise routine out of it. Beat Saber makes you mad, why? Why be mad? Okay, well, I mean, I wanted that to happen anyway. I'm definitely gonna lose, like, cursed eye. It is extremely unlikely that I win here. Not because of anything rational, because you can't play it. Yeah. I'm not really good at it either. But I'm not really good at stuff like Guitar Hero either, so...
I'm not great at rhythm games. <laughs> Which has become evident with uh, Yakuza and a bunch of other circumstances where I've had to do rhythm type stuff. But I'd, I'd still try my best. For the sake of entertainment, I still try. Beat Saber is different. You can follow rhythms. Quiet made sure of that. So... What, is it just because a bunch of stuff is flying at you? It can be overwhelming, some of the later difficulties. Okay, there's Zakard. Still don't think I'm gonna win. Oh, I don't know why. Why did I open that? That's autopilot right there. <laughs> it makes you nervous. I can understand that. The advice I've been told for those games is, like, don't look at them coming at you immediately, if that makes sense. Like, you kind of should look at the horizon always and not look at what's approaching your body. You need to train yourself to look at the horizon more, which, I don't know. I think it's one of those easier said than done type things. Stupid curse of the blind. Of all the things. And I love how since that chest, I haven't had another red chest appear. Or a planetarium for that matter. There we go. Alright. Watch this be... Um... Sol. Like, useless. Calling it now. Sol. Pluto. Okay. No, okay. 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 I, I can see this turning things around. Less likely to get hit. Yeah, this is good. I still don't think I'm going to win, but it certainly makes the situation a little better. Pluto just makes you tiny. It makes you smaller and your hitbox is smaller. So it's easier to avoid uh, projectiles. So I guess not just projectiles in general, just getting hit.
That's great. Okay, uh, well, I guess that's it. It's okay, like, I can have one red heart. How's my da- Oh, my damage is okay. That was, uh... That was my friend that did that. Oh, shit. Winning with Cursed Eye is very difficult to do. Too good. <laughs> Hardly. I think I'm average. I've seen some pretty insane players at this game. But appreciate the compliment. The items on the Ascend have to be something really good. Get him, leech. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm gonna look on the ascent. Because that's not a no brainer. Why is it so small? Uh, my friend has a shrink shot. Oh, shit. That's Guppy's paw there. There you go. Which I should just do that, in all honesty. Good, that was a that was a good move. Guppy's tail. Guppy! That's it, we got it. It is done. Yep. I suppose I can put down the hand now. I don't really benefit from any of the other items. Um. Alright. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's still hope. It's gonna be very, very difficult. You. I'll take you. Yep, that's why. It's not just because he farts, it's because the conjoin transformation. Range up. Uh, let's see what this card is, may as well. Okay.
Uh, no, that's explosive. He's self-destructive and disturbed, just like his father. Look at who he has to look up to. You know it's a game, but why does mom's underwear give a range up? Because either you want to get away with it, away from it, or your mother. Or maybe people want to get away from the underwear. I don't know. It makes people back away. There's some logic about backing away in there somewhere. No. Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck off. I don't understand how that even hit me, but whatever. Oof. Okay, just go through. I don't know, I was trying to go for, like, the reason it gives you range is because it makes people- it pushes people away. But that doesn't really make sense, does it? I mean, this seems good, but it's cursed eye. It's like, at any given point, it could fuck me over. Then again... In the final fight, it won't teleport me out of the room. It'll just teleport me in the fight. Okay, I mean, yeah, maybe gonna do more for me than Razor Blade can. But yeah, Cursed Eye. It's... I can charge up a shot and fire multiple shots. However, if I'm charging and I take a hit, there's a chance I can get teleported out of the room. It is considered one of the worst items in the game just because of how chaotic it is. However, there are two circumstances you can get it. Uh, one of them is if you're playing as Lilith, well three actually, if you're playing as Lilith because you're, you're technically never shooting, the effect of the curse never happens, so you can get it safely for free. Right? Uh, and the other one is if you have anything that negates curses. What a fly give basil bub. Uh oh no. Shit. That's not good. What floor is this? Two. Okay. We got one more to go. Okay. Go. And the other one is like, there are items that cancel it out. So. Unless they've changed that. But right now, I don't have... Anti-curse. <laughs> I'm not... Yeah. Eh, okay. That's unfortunate. Key piece. Whatever.
Oh shit, that almost got me. Why are there so many enemies? Because this is the ascent. That's what the ascent is. They're not meant to be like the original floors. Oh. Okay, well, at any rate. Peel bottle. I think that's gonna do me more than... Like, maybe getting a lucky pill. Never know. Okay, wish me luck. This is gonna be fucking rough. Charge shot. Just dodge. I have to play around the fact that I have the shot. Yes! Alright, cool. Okay, now I don't have a concern. Now, even if it teleports me, it's not going to take me back a phase. Am I going to win with Cursed Eye? Like, is that going to be a reality here? It's possible. Plausible. I think Pluto has definitely saved me here. Shit. I didn't realize the bombs were contact damage. Oh no. Ooh, I'm gonna be cutting it close here. Yep, there's, there's that curse. Okay, okay. We can do this. This part is, is the easier part. Whoa, I was cutting very close there. Teleport actually saved me there.
All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Victory with a curse eye. I am surprised I won. And a white beam of light reached down into the earth, smiting the mother of heart. Okay, I'm just having a drink of water. Give me a minute. But thanks for the GG. As the beast descended down into the lake of fire, Isaac ascended towards the crack in the sky, and as he flew, he could I honest I honestly thought <laughs> that I was fucked. That that was the end right there. Oh Ma no, Maggie's done it. Yeah, okay. Alright, so that just leaves the keeper. Alright. Sure, why not? Uh, okay. Yeah, with the keeper, I wanted to grab the first item, but I will try to do planetarium strats, it's just not with the first item. If I get poison or anything like that, that'd be good. The item you get in home has to be unlocked first. I wasn't even aware there was an item. Oh shit, it's a la Ooh, it's a labyrinth. Right. So, oh, that would be worth it. I mean, it's something that I would have gotten eventually. <laughs> to be honest, it didn't intrigue me that much to know. That's worth unlocking. I'm sure it is, but I'm doing fine without it. Like, I'm pretty much every base character has, uh, has a completed. It's not really affecting me. What's next? Well, I still got plenty of completion marks to do. The order is get completion marks on every base character except the twins, and then complete the twins and then tainted characters. That's what I'm gonna do. Thought I said that was the last one. In terms of uh, the beast, it is the last one. Aside from the twins, of course. That was, uh, not smart. It's okay, it doesn't affect my angel room chance at all. Plus there was a coin there. that was worth it, but, oh well. I mean, I guess I paid just a little bit under what it's worth. I wanted health. Because the keeper with three health is good.
upkeep, I can have three health now. It's one of the changes in Repentance, so... That way you can go through cursed doors. You can do a bunch of stuff that you couldn't do before. Which, speaking of, I am going to purchase that item. Hmm. It is a little risky, but I... I was like... If I would have gotten the health up, it would have made it a bit easier. Okay. Yeah, I don't think all the, the characters are Isaac. Because Maggie is Isaac's mother, right? Y'all. Easy one. Again. I locked out. Double KO. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have money, so there's no point in checking that. Alright, let's just hit it this way. Wow. Okay, we're in business. It's a good pickup. Now I don't have now I don't have to go get the other one. I can skip it. This is a big deal. I don't think it counts at skipping. It does. <laughs> it's as long as you don't enter the room. It doesn't matter if it's unlocked or not. I didn't go in the other one. There was an Excel floor. What that got to do with it? I don't know. If it counts, it counts. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'll get the item back anyway. I'm not that concerned. Seems ambiguous. It seems ambiguous enough. I guess is what I'm saying.
There's no real way to know because you can't represent the internal number visually. It's like I could I could very well get it, but we won't know if it's like a one percent chance or whatever. I have to get this. I gotta go looking for it. <laughs> Shit. Ooh. Oh, fuck. I backed into it. Okay. Oh well. Keeper's always a tough one. Unless I get the swallowed penny. But I've unlocked it now at least, so... Pretty much go with the plan of just bombing these urns in the hope that I get it. I won't bomb right away, like I'll do it at the end of the floor. Pretty much I do it so then I know which which room has the most urns next to each other. It looks like that first room was the one to do it on. I mean three is not a lot. Maybe I should just wait again. I forgot it was gonna explode. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm sure I'll get a coin. There it is. Gotta love that ricochet into me. Okay, it's three only. Okay, hold up. Damn it. No real way to predict that.
Well, fucked. That was just unlucky. Is Scooby named after the snack, or is the snack named after Scooby? Pretty sure they just call them Scooby Snacks, but it's not a brand. I don't know. What made you think of that all of a sudden? Yay. This is one of those things where you're like trying to make a deep riddle with it, but I'm pretty sure the answer is pretty simple. Kinda what I was expecting there. Okay, let's all get another bomb, but I don't know if it's worth using it. Wasn't there, but I got my bomb back, so I'm happy. Nice. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you arsehole. Okay. Cool. Health up. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Three HP. This will make this a bit easier. <laughs> I don't know. I have a, like, hard time trusting any website that, like, relies on viral clickbait to present facts. One of the things that I'm glad is never gonna pop up again Um... Man, every few years they would do... Did you know that today is the day that Marty McFly arrived in the future? And it was always wrong. Until finally that date passed, and now they, they can't do it anymore.
And it will always have like a photoshopped, uh... The photoshopped dashboard of the car that shows the date. But the movie was like... He was always jumping perfect numbers into the future. So it was like, he went 20 years into the past and 20 years into the future. <laughs> Where are the hoverboards? I know, right? I think they did make one, but it's like, not technically the same thing. This is one of the better babs. Every time I would see it pop up, it, it would annoy me. <laughs> I like that movie. I'm a fan of that movie. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, wow. Go freeze, baby. I don't know, I want the auto lacing boots. I think Nike made some for charity, but they were expensive. Not really in the uh, vicinity of being able to purchase them. You've seen it, it's a classic. It's pretty good. I used to watch it quite a bit as a kid. My uncle had the movies on VHS. Oh boy, what is this? Ooh, that almost got me. Oh, this is so good just being able to shatter it. Uh, that's just gonna be flies. It's probably not bad, to be honest. Oh, wait, it's never gonna happen, is it? No. Oh, yes, it is. No, it's money. Oh, sorry, I'm confusing myself here. It's on money pickup. Fucking asshole. Oh, can wow, he's being really aggressive with those bombs. Jeez, that was, uh, that was not good. Oh, nice. Useful baby is useful. I gotta be careful. Yeah, that. Okay. 
Oh, wow, that's such a shit room. <laughs> it forced- well, it doesn't really force you to, I misplayed it. I should have ran across. But it tricks you into running upwards, which that thing is just waiting to shoot. I don't think I've seen that room before. I think this is probably going to be the last attempt, and then I'll move on. Do we call it autumn, or do we call it fall? Much like the rest of the world that speaks British English, we call it fall. Just kidding. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Made you guess yourself. It's- it's autumn. I think pretty- it's pretty much America that only calls it fall, and maybe Canada. I'm not sure about Canada. Because they are part of the Commonwealth, they may call it autumn as well. Why can't the US just be normal? <laughs> I don't know. That's not bad. You want to use the metric system so bad? Yeah. Metric's great. You don't realize the insanity of the Imperial system until you see just the many different ways to convert one unit into another. Also, like, the way we do dates as well, like, the US is, uh, is month first, right? And then the day. So with us, it's the smallest unit to the largest unit, so it's day, month, year. And that's the logic behind it, is it goes smallest to biggest. You do day, month, year, man. That's going against what, uh, what you've been taught. Day, month, year just makes so much more sense. Again, that's order. Right? I know I said that was the last one, but I want to go at least past the first one. DDMMYY, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the logical way to do it, but, you know. You sit right day, month, year, but then you say month, day, year because it flows faster, huh? If I'm saying just day and month, it'll be like month, day, but if I'm saying like with year, it'll be 1st of January, you know, I'll read it like a date. That's how I do it. Just for the sake of brevity, but... I think writing and speech is a different thing.
Oh, shit. Okay. This is probably going to be bad, but we'll see. Just the movement speed. I have to fix it quickly or I'm going to lose. But the damage is nice. If I don't fix the movement speed, I am screwed. Yeah, I should be bombing these things. Alright. Assuming they haven't changed it. Which, yeah, who knows. Mm, actually, it didn't go down that much. It's pretty negligible. Wow. Okay. Fingers crossed. Rocks again. Which I guess is a good thing because I can smash urns. Piercing rocks. How does that work? It doesn't work on... Yeah, okay. Still. I gotta check. Rainbow. <laughs> ah, guess we're good. I will destroy everything just in case of a crawl space, you never know. I missed two rocks in the sacred room. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Spiky rocks. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. I will destroy everything. Oh, don't be the annoying childhood friend. That meme is, is my favorite. 
one of my favorites anyway. Because at a point in time, my younger brother had a similar haircut to the kid in that meme. And he sort of behaved a little bit like that. Poison rocks. <laughs> Just looks like I'm flinging balls of snot now. I never am able to find the uh, the stat up, the extended stat time thing when I have this trinket ever. Wait, what? Do I remember when I was making out with my first girlfriend and she touched my leg? What? <laughs> Why bring that up? Okay. I mean, as useful as this trinket is... Having extended iframes, it's like for that, no. Yeah, okay. I'm not familiar with the meme. Move at speed. Oh. My brother in Christ, not everything <laughs> is common to everyone. Ugh. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna keep these coins so then I can impale myself on the spikes further. Piercing with poison is pretty legit. blessing. Oh. Okay, do it again. That was, uh, so hot. Why are the iframes long? Because of the trinket. Sorry for noob, but why are my heart's coins? Uh, it's the uh, character. I'm playing the, uh, the shopkeeper. Wait. 
I shouldn't do this. I should go get the health first. Oh, money. So this character, his gimmick is he doesn't have health. He has coins. So when you lose health, the only way to replenish it is by picking up a coin. But he does have his advantages. His devil deals their purchases as opposed to losing hearts. So you just, as long as you have money, you can purchase devil items. And if you can keep picking up money, because there's items that will drop money when you take damage, um, you can just pick up your health again, which is super useful. And he starts with a triple shot, so... This character is one of the harder ones, but... If you can get a good setup with it, it can be really good. <laughs> Shit. Okay, well, now I need another coin. Which I don't know if I have. I do not. Alright, I'm just gonna have to try. Oh no, this is bad. Ooh. Because I have low movement speed. The rocks have knockback, so it's, it's actually- it's saving me. Okay, what have we got? Ooh, shit, careful. Oh, all right. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, yeah. I think we're good. I can't really do anything else. It's not exactly the greatest item to get because I don't have much luck. Stat. There we go. Unclench. Range up. It'll still go off, just... Yeah, see, so that... How does that even work? I, I guess it drains your... Your coins. But yeah, no thank you. I'm good on that front. Surprised it's not there. Spudder. Oh. But see, yeah, I think I'll stick to the extended iframes. Because that's just going to spawn more. Nice. The chunk bats are cute. <laughs> they are. In a horrific way. Uh, okay, if I want to invert what I have, I'll hang on to it. I don't think I would want to, but... It's there. Oh, these piercing shots are so good. <laughs> Double active. Double nothing. Your cat is launching intently. Good to know. How's it going, Amy? Maybe Isaac's another one of these games that pet cats like to watch. It's 
still got me in the end. It's going, how am I? I'm doing alright. Just uh, kicking back off the look. Kind of a bit of a slow start to the week. You imagine it's because things are moving around a bunch. Ah. That would make sense. Lemon. Damn it. That's not what I wanted. Uh, nah. I mean, I don't have anything else, so. I guess. Maybe it's the sounds as well. It's the flies. You think it's the flies? Maybe. Many. Oh yeah, there was the double... Double locker room. Hang on. Yeah, okay. Worthwhile. Use chariot to get the chest? Nah, it's fine. Saving it in case there's uh, like a blood bag, because I do need to fix my movement speed. Or oh, sorry, a blood bank, not bag. I want a blood bag. I think it's better used for that, because my move speed is horrendous right now. Like, I'm surprised it hasn't... Hasn't been more of an issue. Any reaction? Maybe when there's flies in the room, I should leave it and see if there's a reaction. Oh, can't actually get it. I mean, the odds of me completing this are pretty low. <laughs> Just, I don't have a way to generate my health back at the moment. So I'd have to do the, the boss fight hitless, which is doable, but I don't know. The boss can be a real dick sometimes. Particularly the first phase.
this move speed. If I get any enemy chasing me, it's it's not gonna be good. Damn it. Okay. So hopefully I do get a shot. Hey, is it possible to still get double steam voucher aside from duplicating the item? Because I, I gotta say, I haven't seen it. Is it something that they removed? I feel like that scenario used to be way more common. Yes, you can still do it. Or yes, they removed it. But it doesn't give you everything free. Ah, of course not. Yep. Yeah, I asked because I haven't seen it, and I was just curious. I kind of figured Mr. McMuffin would touch that one. There's no way. I was like, hmm, yeah, he's probably changed it. Wait. I don't think I have the super secret room, right? I don't. Um... I mean, is it possible to be here? I don't know. No, okay. Then probably at the end of that room over there. It's not. Weird. Okay. Oh, it's probably here. No? What? Ha? Huh? Unless I didn't shoot directly on it, but I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yay! Worth my time. <laughs> okay. Or not really worth the time. I need movement speed. <laughs> this is not go not gonna end well. Uh, no. It is. These count as devil deals, right? I mean, brimstone bombs are not really going to win me anything. Yeah, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather not. I don't think any of those are run winning. Oh, that is... That is a shame. 
Oh, no, but a movement speed. No, okay, no, that's good. Alright. Okay. Look, yeah, I mean, for the movement speed alone, I will, I will gladly take it. a little sad, but it's not entirely uh, useless. Ah, uh, wait, but yeah, that's just gonna be that. Now, the only issue is I don't know where I am. <laughs> Did I bub? Trying to form a mental map. <laughs> okay, no, that's useful. That's useful. That works. So now, effectively, I have five health. I know I have the D20, but I'm just waiting for a better opportunity. Go away. Okay, now I got my bearings. That's probably the room that I'm going to use it in. Ooh. Unless it ends up being a bad room, which it could be. Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'll do, I'll do it anyway. I was kind of hoping they'd be normal chests and they would explode into money. Um, I'm gonna go drop this off in the starting room so then I'm not messing around. There we go. You piercing shots. Oh, okay. Damn it. All right, there's one more shop. Do it. 
Nah, didn't really do much. Okay. Regular one? Regular one. Uh, okay. Push me luck. I think the knockback from the rocks is carrying me quite a bit here. Because movement speed. Oh, thank you. Okay, there we go. It's n normal. It's not great, but I can work with this a bit more. Damn it. Easy, easy. Be careful. These, those things are not to be messed with. Darth Vader versus Batman, but Batman has a year to prepare. Why does Batman need a year to prepare? Oh my god. How did, why did that other one not die? I know that I don't have to technically do the rooms, but I feel like it's beneficial to do it. Potentially get more pills, items, stuff. Because I don't feel like I'm in a... Like, this is a... A good spot for me. Ooh, that's not good. Reroll. Okay, I'm gonna use the death card. Because that's Batman's thing. I thought you were saying it because Batman needs time to prepare. Otherwise, he wouldn't win. I'll check it when I extend. Uh oh. May have just inadvertently fucked myself a little here. Okay, it's in a position where it can't get me. Jeez. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I guess just for padding's sake. Hmm. 
I don't need to fill it up completely again. It's just nice to have a bank. I don't know, I guess I don't know much about Batman. <laughs> to make an educated guess as to why he needs so much time. Oh, this is mildly irritating. Shit. I might have to go blow, blow up the coin machine. Go check that room now. No! Dude. I don't want to. Wait, what? Is it broken? Oh, shit. I'm doing it because then be less backseaty. <laughs> Alright, anyway, that was the last run. We're done. I'm gonna play Yakuza now. Uh, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, that was it. It was just this dude that I have to do. Alright, that's fine. I'll get him eventually. Alright, I'll be back in five. I'm gonna get myself a drink of water. And then I'm gonna play Yakuza for a little bit to wrap things up for tonight. Alright, give me like five minutes-ish.